viewers. Studio visit to Joyce Pensano. Oh, there she is. Okay. Oh, we're gonna take a little sweep of the studio. Wow, this is an impressive space you got here. Yeah. Well, um, yes, yes, yes. How long have you been here? 1979. I thought, oh my god, I'm like in Yankee Stadium or something, or Monet Studio. <laughs> and I sort of grew into it where now it's like full of old life caca. Gets a little chilly in here during the winter, I can see I, that, huh? I do not work here anymore. The paint starts freezing. Really? Your paint freezes? The enamel freezes? Starts getting chunky, huh? Yeah. So you said you've been here since 1979. They kicked me out of the studio school in the summer of 79. And uh, friends and I found this three buildings in one year. Nobody would come here you know, to this part of Beckett by uh, Williamsburg in the old days. And it was very provincial then. I imagine the rent was a lot cheaper back in those days, too. Actually, the buildings were a lot cheaper. Absolutely. Yeah, they were giving them away. Yeah. Actually, they were close to giving them away. Well, I, I did have a couple of questions I wanted to ask you. Okay. Well, yeah. what do you think your relationship is to the abstract expressionists? I know a lot of people have said that uh, in certain ways you're sort of carrying on that kind of uh, I think I brushy, painty stuff, except with a more, uh, maybe a pop attitude or... I think postmodern attitude. I started to accept myself just a short time ago, and uh, accepting that I am keeping a tradition up, and but uh, my need to—I I have to think—I think better with my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, the pop image culture is very important to me. So to co combine it, I'm I'm really happy. But you I mean, do I feel I found my my language. You do feel that it's important for you to carry on the legacy of, uh, say, the oh. New York School or Abstract no. Expressionism, or that just happens to be the way that it just uh, you work. To be my niche, I'm not carrying on. I mean, I'm, it's my niche right now, and I love uh, you know calligraphy and you know graffiti stuff and all of that. But I, my feeling was the, the culture, pop culture was, I, I, I say it at times, my father was a very big influence in my life because he was an immigrant guy who loved New York, who loved going to the Statue of Liberty, and of course he'd take his- Are you a native New Yorker? I, I am a native Brooklyn person. A native Brooklyn person, good for you. <laughs> That's even more so than a New Yorker. <laughs> And uh, so my father loved, you know, loved all the American pop culture stuff, and, and he was my big influence. Where did you study at, Joyce? The New York Studio School of Drawing, Painting, and Sculpture in the 70s. The New York Studio School, who did you study with? Uh, uh, my most influential teachers were Mercy is better at this guy, Steve Sloman, who was a young teacher. Steve Sloman, he was in the uh, Barbara Rose's Painting of the yes. 80s show, right? Yes, he was a hot guy. And then I don't know what happened to him, but he's an incredible. Wow. Fashions change. He gave you so much whatever. And Phil Gustin would come in, and he was our guard. 
in the, at the studio. So you actually had a chance to meet Philip Gustin? Yes, he gave me a couple of critiques. Wow, aren't you lucky? Yes, I, I think I'm lucky. When you're, at, when you're young at the time, you don't think you're so lucky. But I was very fortunate. And, um, I mean, in my life was like Joe Mitchell was my mentor. We would go out to her place in France. And, really? Yeah. And, uh, I'm trying to think who but uh, the studio school, I mean, we, I, I might be keeping up the tradition of the studio school, of painting like de Kooning and uh, drawing like Giacometti. <laughs> so, okay. You know, in the 90s, I would go up to Paris in the winter for shows. And well, it's not like Paris is a lot warmer than New York in the wintertime. Yeah, it's a little damp. <laughs> So all the paint you're using here is enamel? Yes. Straight enamel. Straight enamel. One shot. How long do you usually work on a painting? Uh, Till it's done. Nah, it depends on the imagery. And, you know, I might go for a week or a couple of days. At least two or three shots. Because you now it works out good. But it all has to look like it was done in one shot for me. Unless it gets tortured, like the Homer painting from the last show, which didn't feel right to me. That took quite a while. And sometimes it's doing over the same thing over and over to. You get it right for me. And I think that somehow connected to the French and for so long. And I can't speak a word of the, uh, I speak, I know I say a couple words and speak softly when I'm there. And, but they've been very kind before. Yeah, that does look like the, the large uh, side piece that you did there. Yeah, I, I started this before, the, so I felt the, the space beforehand, what would be good in that space, it was this. So I hope to finish this one at one point. Now, I was mentioning uh, at your installation that uh, I'd never seen any of your uh, drawings with the color in here. Oh, I said and although this doesn't have as much as some of the other ones, this does have color in there, the blue yeah, and the yellows. Yeah, a couple of years ago with a little color, and then I beat it down. I beat it up to it's like a hint of color. Oh, a long time. That, that's how long you've been painting? Yes. <laughs> and you've got a show opening in Berlin? It, Next year? It will be opening in September 9th in Berlin. Oh, it's my birthday. September 9th, all right. Yeah. I'll think of you. Yeah, so. I would love to see you when you well, I wanted to thank you for our little interview here. I'm going to go home and splice this stuff all oh, together. Oh, thank you. And take out all the bad parts. Where oh, no, like the bad parts. That's the most important stuff. <laughs> People love the bad parts. No, no, no. Anyway, thank you, Joyce. And then it'll be on forever. Forget it. Thank you. You're, you're a great guy. Keep and thank you, Kate. I'm going to keep it going.